We're back, another episode, Jordan's here. We've got an hour to play with before he has to go back to work. So we're gonna strip the car as much as we can, interior-wise, try to get as much weight out of it as possible. Um, and then we're gonna weigh everything and minus it off the car's total weight so we know what we're dealing with. So like, everything is coming out. I gotta be quiet because the baby's asleep. I've been told from the wife. Exhaust. Jack. Me mate Jack. Jordan coming back with a three hundred dollar wrench. Oh, it's got this thing. Tow hook we're keeping. I said to Ash, we're gonna be quiet because we're um, babies asleep. <laughs> oh, this guy's got the tool removal. Bro. I'm just gonna. Oh, we're gonna get rid of the mats too. Yep, mats. Should That's we just get? Maybe we just get all the seats out so it'll be easier to work on. First. Okay, seats out first. Pull up on the bottom. Alright, anyway, while Jordan's doing that, we're gonna go to the back. Take all this out. If anyone's watching this and needs Mazda 2 parts, which <laughs> I highly doubt. What's that? It's for sale. All these parts. Look. Oop. Don't make noise, baby's asleep. Spare wheel! Out. Where are we going? Oh, I got it, Phil. Good job, mate. On the roof it goes. Yep. Uh, 13 or 14 mil. Let's have a look. Where's all me? Boy at the seats. Yeah, at the back. That's a 12, mate. That's a 14, mate. That's a 14. 14, 14. Uh, that's what I said. Not a 14. <laughs> Surely it's not a 13. 13. In a Mazda. That's the first I heard of it. Oh, this bolt's cross threaded. Somebody's been in here before. <laughs> Maybe this was a track cut all along. We thought this was a virgin. <laughs> someone's uh, someone's been here before. So what's the goal? Are we trying to lose 100, ki 100 need, kilos? I probably need to lose 20 myself, <laughs> but anyway. 100 kilos, then we can do a we can do a diet ourselves. Yeah. If we drop 10 kilos, it's 10 kilos that wasn't in the car. That was good. Our wives will be happier. Oh yeah, that's cross threaded hard, brother. I think we can take the fuel center in out. We don't really need that. <laughs> Alright. Watch this. Seats are out. <laughs> oh. Heavy? No, there's another seat belt I forgot about. <laughs> Where's it go? Oh, that's the center oh. one here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. No chance? I need a socket. You know I've got it all in the van. Yeah, I know, but I can't be bothered to walk into your van. Probably should, though, because this is going to be a real bloody day. Just to get the carpet out. Um, to get all the carpet out. But we'll put it back in. And then eventually there'll be two race seats. Oh. It's already looking like a race car. It's already looking like a race car, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're not coming to the next truck day. I'm not invited. Can I just put this on top of the Yeah, here? just throw it on top of the bike. Alright, uh, easy. I think that one stays out. <laughs> yep. 
You know what we've just done? What? We're just going in circles. You're following me. Get <laughs> <laughs> all that was tight. Jesus. See, like that one had lock type, but this one doesn't. I don't get it. Somebody's been here before. I think we're a bit optimistic with 100 kilos, hey? See, like where'd this come from? What's that? Did you just take that out? And cable ties? That was from the last track day with the exhaust. I don't know how it ended up in there. <laughs> <laughs> how did it get from outside of the car, yeah. underneath, inside the car? Like yeah, probably yeah. Alex. So you don't reckon we'll do 100 kilos? <laughs> I don't know why I just sounded pommy then. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> the hell. <laughs> don't think we're gonna do 100 kilos. Oop. Do you know how when you said, um, you want to drive it and it, you just hear the rocks yeah. hear the little rock. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. I think the hardest part of this is going to be the sound deadening, but... I reckon we just blow torch it off. Peel off. <laughs> oh, we can't sell those ones. <laughs> what the f What if you pull that trim out? Nah. <laughs> I refuse. There we go. I just popped out a few clips. That's all. See, so even all these fill. One sec. We can drill out all the spot welds. These seat belt See the, Yeah, we'll drill those oh, spot yeah. welds out. You need a special drill before that, eh? Oh, I got that in the van, mate. Oh, look. Look at this mechanic go. Can't sell that one either. Nah, it's just clips. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bella? Jordan has one drawer that's worth more than this car. <laughs> that still blows my mind. Did you tell Ash about my thousand dollar screwdrivers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this screw was loose. This car has definitely been a part before. You can pull apart a car so quick, eh? But putting all this back together would take three times as long. Oh my God, look at that, it's a race car. Look Ash, it's on the, on the front. <laughs> What's this little gadget? Oh. Okay, that's all off. That's all off. So, rightfully, this should just wake the baby up. Take this off. <laughs> Phil wants to keep these rubbers. <laughs> No chance. <laughs> I want it to be a comfortable race car. Is that a, is that a possibility? No, no definitely not. A. Is this the kick pile? No, no, that's the throw pile. Everything's throwing out. Okay. <laughs> I was just about to start my explanation and feel something in the back, but. <laughs> So um, now we're taking out all the weight. So everything that a road car does have, we don't need. So carpet, plastics, seatbelt at the rear. Yeah, we might leave that seatbelt just for passenger runs. But if you zoom in there, see where Phil's undoing? Come around here. That'd be a kilo. Right next to him, that where the seat clips in, another 500 grams. But you know what? Grams everywhere equals kilos. Yep. Drill the spot welds out. You know, maybe 100 grams, 100 grams, 100 grams, but all up, it adds up, so. And then the idea is to go back out, same tires, same everything, and see how much faster we can go with all the weight removed. Like I said at the start, the goal is 100. 100 kilos. Like, have you ever seen a car pulled apart? Yeah. When? What car have you seen pulled apart? Huh? What car have you seen? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wake up! <laughs> if he was asleep, he might anymore. Um, when have you seen a car pulled apart? Oh. Ash, do you remember when we first started dating, you had a Mazda 2? Yeah. And what we used to do? We used to go to the industrial area and just hang on the <laughs> 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 Was that on I only first... just met her and I started doing handbrakes in her car. Do you remember when I used to reverse really fast and then hook the steering wheel? Yeah. This was on a track, not on the yeah, street. Dated me because of Mazda. Yeah. And now look. Well, back then, six years ago, you wanted a um, 
as the track car, remember? Yeah. It's only taken six years. See, guys, if you work hard, you can achieve whatever you if want. If you work hard and you get the same um, yeah. bad influence mates, <laughs> you'll be able to get it. Why is this so hard to do? Are you sweating, Phil? Yeah, I'm profusely. <laughs> Throw these straight back on, eh? Just move the carpet out of the way. Yeah. Why did we just cut around the carpet? Now that I think about it. Oh. <laughs> that mold. Oh, that smells like mold. I think that's mold, eh? Oh, you're good. Pop what? rivets. Where? In here. Oh, it's always good. Pass I don't know when they pop riveted. Oh, cockroach. Oh. <laughs> That's how you take it out. <laughs> That's that proof. <laughs> Put this in your living room. That's nice. Beautiful rug. <laughs> Just throw it. All right. It's pretty clean, eh? So this is bro. These rubbers weigh, I reckon. Do you have your little scales? Yeah. Let's weigh the rubbers just on their own. I reckon it's just a kilo in rubbers. Quick before the battery dies. Oh, we've got two, two more over there. Uh, <laughs> weigh one and times it by two. By four. By four. What's that way? Be hard when you can't see it, eh? Yeah, I can't see it. <laughs> 1.1 1 .1 kilos. One rubber? So it's four kilos. kilos? Just in rubbers. Oh, yeah, well. Okay. Hey, this pile's getting pretty big, eh? More here. Okay, so for now, this will have to stay like that. And then. Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> Jordan? Uh... <laughs> I didn't know that was holding the window in. <laughs> Wait, what did you get out? Uh... Uh, isn't it just these three bolts? Nah, I didn't realize. I think these two 10 mils must have hold the glass up. Whoopsie! All right. <laughs> I thought uh, you said the window wasn't coming down again. Oh, I'm gonna leave that with you because that is gotta be my most hated job on a car: is power windows. All right, we're gonna turn this camera off for a second. The plan was to strip all the weight. Um, <laughs> Phil got to the first door and he fucked it. <laughs> so now I'm stripping all the weight. Phil's trying to figure out how to put that. <laughs> this that would power have to be like, up. I reckon top three shittest jobs. Yeah, to do. I hate it. I hate it. So, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. Filippo has figured it out. See, this is fun, you know why? Because in our jobs, we've got to be like super careful and tedious yep. and like... Yeah, both our like, jobs, you got to be like... But like nice. with this car, you can just... <laughs> Where's that tool? That's why I'm finding it so hard to do things to these cups. I want it to be nice. So I'm just thinking about my job, but it's just... <laughs> it's not going to happen, eh? Everything's forks in this car. You know why? Are these made in? No, because it's a Ford. Oh, it's a Ford, yes. Oh, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, yuck, we have to clean that. Oh, bit of rust. Hello. <laughs> Nothing a bit of white paint can't fix. I don't think I was recording this. Oh, that's good. It's good, Bella. <laughs> How'd you get it out? Did you just... Yeah, you just... Oh. Did we sell the... Oh, no. What's that? Nothing sold off this thing anymore. Mm, a bit noisy. Oh. Uh. Maybe next time you guys get an invisible um, when he's awake. 
<laughs> He's gonna learn to live with noise. If he wants to play with race cars. Um, I don't want to break his hand, but I should be patient, eh? Because we'll probably need that. Um, I need a flat blade. Have we got one here? Yeah. Uh, mm. Good part. Where's the light? The light's still in there, but how's it powered? Oh, off this? How? Oh, invisible power. Oh, this has Bluetooth. <laughs> uh oh, did that just turn off? Is it? The, no, that's the wiper. That's the rear wiper. You can unjoin that there. Water might come out. Or not. And then the wipers, the other but one. But how is this light powered? It runs here. Ah, to the. Yeah, but ah, from the back. Okay. One sec. Oh, yeah. these are like um. Airbag, like um. I mean, it doesn't run the airbag to put these in. Alright, and then the harness for that is. Yeah. Alright, stand back, Bella. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying not to damage it. <laughs> this is the race car I've ever seen on. <laughs> Our neighbours must think, what the hell? Oh, one sec. Is it tinny? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we want. What's left? Um, take this bracket off. Oh, that's for the handle. FMD handle. Um, this bolt's still here. <laughs> I think it needs to stay in the gun. <laughs> Are the sun visors going back on? No. Uh, yeah, leave yeah I think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't agree. Um, oh, this one's look for what it for, for what it weighs. Let's put them back on. So this is the uh, current status of my garage. Half a Mazda two. Good to see Jordan took this off the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Roof lining, never been bent. Carpet, never been cut. This is coming up next as well. Don't need that. I reckon if we take the front window out, it's at least 40 kilos. <laughs> we don't Let's put goggles on, we'll be alright. Car. This exhaust is going to be so loud now. A bit of rust. Ooh. A bit of rust. Front seat's going back in because uh, apparently you do need that to drive. Hey, what do you reckon the seat weighs? Just so we know for future when we change the um, seats out. How, okay. how much does that luggage sale go up to? <coughs> Is a state of the art scale. All right, let go. Wow, well, you're close. 16 kilos. 16, 16, 16. 32. Just in seats. <coughs> hey, don't slam the door. Quiet. Oh, these clips are all. Oh my god. Just get long nose. I got bent ones. That's oh, right. Yeah, okay. That's how you do it. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I think we're doing a council pickup, Ash. Um, so we we're doing the one wiper because in true race car fashion. Ash, can you do something? Wiper motor. Leave the struts. Yeah. Oh, no. We'll do one. I'll take one off. Rear wiper and motor. On. Just going to find a grommet for that. Okay. Pile number one. Pile number two. Receipts. <sighs> Spare tire. Exhaust. Bunch of crap. Let's all weigh it. 
16.1. Alright, let me get a notepad. Write it in our joint notes on the phone. <laughs> okay. Yep. 16.1 kilos. And then we'll add it all up together. Um, 8.4 kilos. So 16.1. 8.4 107.2 107.2 minus minus my fat ass with all my stuff on 92.1 I mean 15.1 15.1 kilos that's that hey <laughs> um, who's that Adam. Oh, I didn't. One sec now. Um, it's not going to be much, but 95 exactly. Josh. What are you? 92.2? 92.1 minus 95. 2.9. 2.9. Okay. <laughs> okay, jump off again. It's gonna oh, wait. No, no, go on. Wanna. <laughs> stay still. I can't stay Wanna... still. 108.2. 108.2. Really? 108.2 minus 92.1. Minus 92 16.1. We might crack 100, Phil. 16.1. Uh, now that big. That big one. Okay. Uh, that... I am a nerdy can it. Got it? No! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just take some shit out. Yeah, okay. Let's start again. Okay. Oh, Alright. Can't switch the poles. Alright. Alright. One sec. I'm gonna hook my fingers in there. Sweet, what's that? 106.5. 106.5. Kiss FM. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't see that. 106.5 minus 92.1. Yeah, now this pile. One, two, three. Oh. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Yeah. Eh? Off for me anyway. 96.3. 96.3 92.1. Alright, you got your calculator? Okay, that's it. Nope. That's your camera. Alright, so we're gonna go 16.1. 8.4. 8.4. 15.1. 15.1. 16.1. Two point nine. Sixteen point one. Fourteen point four. And four point two. Hey, not bad. 77.2 kilos. That's another person. Yeah. And we didn't really try there, eh? 77.2. Okay. And so, there's still the sound deadening. Sound deadening. All the factory spot welding brackets and everything. Yeah. And Eight. that's with the two seats too. That's with the two seats. So 77.2 and we said these are 16 kilos. Yeah. So then plus 32. 110 kilos straight out of it. Oh, minus, minus 9 eight, kilos. Whatever it's seat weighs. Seat. And then we still got heater core, blower, AC. Uh, the dash. If like the Strip the dash strip completely. The dash all the vents and stuff. Uh, Oh, so 100 kilos is possible. Okay. Yeah. So say the car weighs, what did you just minus before? 32. So yeah. say the car weighs 1022 max. Oh yeah. 945 okay. kilos, we're under 950. So we're gonna find another 50 kilos somewhere. Yeah, if we find another 50, we're cheering. Guard liners, mud flaps, intrusion bars. Yeah, the intrusion bars and the doors and all that. So if you actually have a look, because we still got the, the motors, windows, the motors for all the windows, which back ones we won't need, front will keep. We'll put lighter wheels on it, obviously, eventually. 
Um, the little mud flaps at the back. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Everything. It sounds like a Volkswagen when you close the doors. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, the little. Just a reminder. <laughs> Oh, head unit will be a couple of kilos. Yeah. All that crap. Airbag at the front, or oh, both airbags. Oh yeah, there's still, still a fair bit of weight. Sound dead near. Yeah, I reckon there's another 50 kilos in it. This carpet here. Just leave that for now. The washer bottle. Washer bottle. If it's full and it's got, say, six liters, so that's <laughs> six, seven kilos. Lightweight shift knob. Actually, no, they put heavier ones. Heavier ones, they? so yeah, it's better. Um, hazard switch. <laughs> we, we had a mate in school when he used to drive, he used to drive like this. And you'll know who he is when, when he watches this video. <laughs> Shifts, she's like, and he was driving like Dom Toretto. But um, he crashed. <laughs> he didn't, he, he, he kept it flat, but he crashed. <laughs> he kept it flat, yeah, he definitely so kept it flat. You'll know who it is when he yeah. sees this. High beam blo uh, globes. High beam oh, no. globes, reverse globes, blinker globes. I oh, know it's all in one, you can't. All right, so the goal is another 45 kilos eventually. Then if we go full hectic eventually and put a cage in, you probably, I don't know, what's a cage? 20, 30 kilos? Yeah, about 20, 30. Lightweight flywheel, one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's okay. stuff to be taken out still. Hubcaps. You can see all these brackets, like all this, all this, um, the handles and all this bracketry and all the spot welds at the back for the back seat. The webbing. We can on cut the all the webbing. Like if we get serious enough, we can cut all in here and make that a patch and then make this. Because that's not structural, hey. No. Oh, it is if you're upside down. <laughs> but if you're going the right way on the four wheels, it's Window not structural. Window tints? Tints. It's got to be. Oh, yeah, anyway. 10 grams. We need this. This is definitely... When we eventually get another Mazda 2, I'll be looking at Phil here like this. Let me just check those times again. Um, um, I'm going to be 0.2 of a second in front of you by the looks of it. The Mazda badge, 50 grams. Oh, wait. I've got another 10 grams. Wait, just... <laughs> nah, you'll never guess where it's coming from. Oh, the washer fluid. Nah, you got to come here. Oh, the CD. Nah, <laughs> the fooey. <laughs> this lives in the car no matter what. Even if we've got to dangle it here, <laughs> that's the 10 grams going to stay. The key ring. Oh, no, that's your key ring. We no, can't key get rings that. Gonna stay. And then we did a 101. Four and six. So that's a second. So if 70 we. 70 kilos. So if we do that, we're just on the. And we'll put the back tires on the front so it'll be fresher. Yeah. Can I do? Will we crack the double digits? Uh, I don't know. Day two. And what we're doing today is, I know you can't see me right now. First off, we're gonna pull these mud flaps off. From there, we are going to attempt to remove the rear bumper bar. And from there, we're gonna remove the rear crash bar. Now, we wouldn't do this if it was a road car because it protects the chassis and the boot floor and all that stuff. But, um, because it's a race car, we want it light as possible. It'll still be safe, but I guess if someone smashes into us, it probably won't look too good after that. So, first of all, we'll get these mud flaps off because we don't need them. I'm trying to be careful, but at the same time, I really don't care. So I should just rip it off, hey. There we go. So that's one off. Rob goes to me, you reckon it's gonna upset the balance of the car? I said, yeah. Yeah, probably will. I think so, eh? But you know what? I was thinking that on the way here. You know what we can do? On the day, get the angle grinder out. Wait, what's the angle grinder for? Straight chop of the spring. Yeah, right, there's no crash bar there. Oh. Okay. 
So, pull that off for no reason. Wait, has it been removed? Because what's that stud there? I thought we were gonna save 10 kilos just there. And then see how it's not painted there? Yeah. So I've, I was feeling like there was a crash bar, you know, when they just went over it. I don't know, hey. Um. Oh. Unless it's for like a shitty tow bar mount or something. Nah, there. Yeah, it. maybe. Alright, All right, cool. put that back on. That was good. Alright, so the rebar didn't have a crash bar. Apparently it doesn't come with one, so we're heading over to the front. We're taking the guard liners off too, I reckon. I think so. Good success. Oh, what's the? Yeah, yeah. thanks. Oh, tell me this doesn't unbolt. It doesn't unbolt, Phil. Oh, we can cut it. Yeah. Well, isn't that what keeps the whole frame together? <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Good success. Just um, rest it up there. That's just resting up there. Yeah. Can you go back there? No, not really. That's all right. All right. Tin. What are we doing now? Take all that plastic we'll take off. Take all this off. Take yeah. the yeah. condenser out. So the condenser's out. What a job. <laughs> now we're gonna put it back together. I should get the vacuum, eh? Yeah. Or the hose. Add it to the pile. That's just free horsepower right there. <laughs> what have we got? One more? One more small one. Oh, yeah. Nine kilos? No, oh, no, no 95.8. 95.8 minus 91.6. Quick math. 95.8 minus 91.6. 4.2 kilos. That takes us up to 80 kilos, doesn't it? So we're going to start removing the dash. It'll be a two Let's day job. <laughs> okay, it's 5.30. We haven't removed the dash yet. We've gotten the majority of it off. It's loose, but one of the hardest dashes Jordan said he's ever had to remove. So we're gonna come back to it another day because things to do, people to see, bikes to ride, but that's how we're going so far. Good progress. We lost another, I think five or six kilos. To all the mechanics out there, if you get a job to pull a Mazda 2 dash out, don't take it. Do not take it. It's a bit of a job, eh? Far out. The idea is now to strip the dash. Just leave the bare essentials. <laughs> core cooling all over the floor. <laughs> Spacious looks in here. Mm. The sun's not that good, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's pretty shit. Dash is out. Dashes out. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> All right, let's start doing these. I'm gonna maybe make a little plate and sicker flex set on. Yep. We did it. What the hell? Oh, it's all out. But why? Weight. Just to save weight. Simple, minimal, easy to find faults. Half oh, those faults are made by us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for a mate. <laughs> you guys good? Not one of our best moments, but. <clears throat> Do 
this is how most cars are. What? So the dash is separate from the Rio bar. Yeah. Whereas the Mazda was all one. Mm. <laughs> you right. Don't need that. Don't need any of that. What's a race car without Maccas, eh? That's it. And the Mazda were made in the same year, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Are the Nuggets that bad? No, they're right. <laughs> First start, you ready? Let's do it. Let's see how many lights we got. Airbags can't go off because they're not in there. I need the airbag light, that's it. Alright guys, that wraps up this episode. As you can see, fully stripped interior as much as we can the seats are back in if you come down this way as you've seen just now dash was taken out everything was taken out aircon heater anything that was not necessary for a race car it is removed so the final tally is 103 kilos give or take so just to calculate it all car roughly weighs 10 20 ish give or take we've taken out 100 kilos uh, that brings us down to 920-ish. Um, that weight would be with a full tank of fuel. So if we drop, say, half a tank of fuel, we'll be almost at that 900 kilo mark. So still a little bit more weight to, to be taken out. Um, you know, once we put some race seats in, that will save us a bit of, uh, bit of weight. Uh, a few bits and pieces, intrusion bars on the doors and things like that, the motors for the, for the windows. So next episode, you'll see us put a little intake on it because we've got to have some intake noise and you'll see us predominantly at the track trying to beat that 101 time now that we've removed the weight the only thing that's going to change is you know swap the tires around just so we've got some fresh tires on the front from the back and that's pretty much it and then the last thing to do today is we've got ourselves some um some race decals you know something like that i reckon i got the italian flag what do you reckon sure i've got the australian flag Maybe. I'll leave the Italian one for now. But um, that's it. Next week, we're going to be out at the track and we're going to try to crack those double digits. So, yeah, 103 kilos. Pretty good, huh? Probably should detail this car, eh? Pretty bad considering we're detailers, but anyway. No, but it doesn't matter if it's a shitbox. This is our shitbox. What do you reckon here? That looks relatively straight. You know what? I've, I've figured out why you don't like this car, Ashley. Because you're scared it's going to beat your i30. <laughs> That's why. I figured it out. I got these stickers off Etsy. They're not the best. But... Oh, mate. That just made it official. Should I even put his name on there? No, don't worry about it. It's crap anyway. <laughs> 